Hey, what are you working on? Oh, I'm working on an essay about Werner Heisenberg. He's actually a really cool dude. Oh, is that that singer you like? No, he's a theoretical physicist from Germany. I think he was born on, uh, oh, December 5th, 1901. What's a theoretical physicist? A theoretical physicist is someone who uses mathematical models and abstractions of physical objects and systems in order to explain and predict natural, natural phenomena. So what's so interesting about Werner Heisenberg? Isn't he just your average scientist? No, he's anything but average. In fact, he's right up there with the likes of Niels Bohr and Paul Derrick, as far as his influence on in modern physics goes. Also, he attained many awards, including the Nobel Prize for Physics in 1932, for which he was chosen by Albert Einstein. Oh, he actually sounds pretty cool. I want to learn more. Yeah, then watch this video with me. Okay. It's all about his life and his very significant contributions to physics. Oh, cool. <laughs> Heisenberg attended the Ludwig and Maximilian Universität München and the George August Universität Göttingen, where he studied physics and mathematics from 1920 to 1923 the same year in which he earned his doctorate degree. In 1924, as the assistant of Max Born at the University of Göttingen, he earned the Vienna Legend Die at that university. Along with Niels Bohr, he conducted research and developed the matrix mechanics, which is the first complete and correct definition of quantum mechanics. Also, the matrix model continued the Bohr model of atoms by describing how quantum jumps occur, and by interpreting the physical properties of particles as matrices that develop over time. Another one of Heisenberg's important scientific discoveries is the uncertainty principle, which he initially described in a letter to Wolfgang Pauli in 1927. Quantum mechanics is weird, right? But did you know that some of its supposed peculiarities are not unique to quantum physics, but are just properties of waves in general? Take the uncertainty principle. It says that the better we know where a particle is, the less we know about how fast it's going. There's a limit to how much we can know. But this isn't just quantum weirdness, it happens all the time with normal everyday waves. Remember that the frequency of a wave is how close the wave crests are to each other. A low frequency wave doesn't have nearly as much oomph as a high frequency one. And the position of a wave is, well, where the wave is, mostly. So where exactly is a wave? It's spread out everywhere, right? Okay, but for a wave pulse it's pretty easy to see where the wave is. So now that we know where the pulse is, what's its frequency? Well, a localized pulse doesn't really wave, so we can't measure the frequency of its crests. And that's the uncertainty principle in a nutshell. You can either know where a wave is, or where it's going, but not both at the same time. The Deutsch Physik movement of the early 1930s was strongly anti-Semitic and biased against theoretical physics, specifically quantum mechanics and the theory of relativity. When Adolf Hitler became Chancellor of Germany in 1933, some of Germany's leading theoretical physicists, including Heisenberg himself, felt like the movement's two most prominent supporters in particular, the Nobel laureates Philip Leonard and Johannes Stark were ostracizing them. Heinrich Himmler, the head of the SS, became involved in what was called the Heisenberg Affair, calling him a white Jew who should be made to disappear. The dispute was eventually resolved in an editorial by Heisenberg in a letter to Himmler. In 1939, shortly after the discovery of nuclear fission, Heisenberg became one of the major scientists leading research and development in the Uranium Club, which was a German nuclear energy project. He traveled to German-occupied Copenhagen in 1941 to lecture and discuss nuclear research and theoretical physics with the likes of Niels Bohr. In 1942, he was asked by the Nazi administration to direct the Uranium Club's research more toward developing nuclear weapons, and when Heisenberg was reluctant to do so, the authority of the project was changed. From 1945 to 1946, Heisenberg was captured in, and imprisoned in England for his questionable role in the war, along with other leading German scientists in the nuclear field under Operation Epsilon. Heisenberg's action in the war continues to be a heavily debated topic. Throughout his later life, Werner continued to lecture across the world and published many works on superconductivity, turbulence, and cosmic ray showers, as well as being appointed to various councils, commissions, and associations. He also received numerous honors and awards, including the Max Planck Medal, the Matayuchi Medal, the Niels Bohr International Gold Medal, and the Nobel Prize for Physics. In 1937, Heisenberg married Elizabeth Schumacher, Together they had seven children. On February 1st, 1976, Heisenberg died of cancer of the kidneys and gallbladder at his home in Munich.